Those of you who follow um, First Arts Auctions will remember this magnificent Pangnark sculpture on the cover of the uh, December 2020 auction catalog. Um, this, this is one of the, the great masterpieces by Pangnark, and I had no idea that we would be lucky enough to have a second comparable masterpiece in this auction. Um, it's just a tremendous, tremendous sculpture. It's one of the largest Pangnarks that I've ever seen. Um, it's only slightly taller than the other work, but it's probably close to twice the mass of that piece because the other dimensions are quite a bit larger. Whereas um, the, uh, the other sculpture by Pangnark was sleek and, and minimalist, this one is almost, by comparison, almost um, sort of boisterous, it, where, whereas the other one was still and quiet. This one seems to have almost a jazzy feel about it. it it zigs and zags and moves in different directions and you really feel like it's a, it's a dancing figure almost. And every, every angle is a completely different sculpture. I mean, it just really has a, a remarkable, remarkable sense of, of movement and vigor. And that is something that you don't typically uh, think about when you think of, of Pangnark sculpture. All of these planes and angles and, and, and uh, uh, protrusions are, are organic in feel. I mean, he followed the natural shape of the stone, and yet the stone is 100% work. It's, uh, it's just remarkable. And it, again, if you, when you look at it, I mean, you're seeing two, three, four, five facets at the same time. I mean, it causes your eye to move around the piece, and, you, and it makes you want to walk around the piece and enjoy it from all these different angles. And of course, being uh, one of the great minimalists of Inuit art, um, it's, it's, it's difficult if you don't know about Pangnark to even recognize this as a human figure. And of course, the clue to it being a human figure is the very, very subtle um, carved and engraved facial features. Just the slight raised nose, the tiny slit eyes and mouth which make this which make this a human figure rather than a completely abstract sculpture. I mean as far as the surface texture goes whereas the the December 2020 piece had kind of a silky silky texture this one is a is a much more uh, vibrant um, energetic surface I mean, the the tool marks uh, are left and you you see different marks of files and chisels and rasps and and sandpaper uh, all, all work together to create an, just an energized uh, surface pattern. It's just a, a fantastic work. I really consider this one of his truly great masterpieces. And, and as I said, it's perhaps not the largest Pangnark, but one of the largest Pangnarks that certainly I've ever seen. <laughs>